More countries in Africa have joined the BRICS and Nigeria is one of them. <laughs> so Nigeria have joined BRICS, your majesties. And um, people have things to say. Yeah, because the question somebody was asking is, what really is Nigeria? What kind of game is, is Nigeria really playing? Are they really uh, uh, puppets to the British world? Or they are trying to cut off from the British world? What really are they looking for? Yeah. The power that America has on the world is going down. Because they tied their sovereignty and everything to their currency. And as the currency is falling, their reign is falling. Many people have lost hope on the US dollar and people are beginning to shift. Everybody are shifting right now. The world is observing a shift right now. So power will change. Everything you think about in this world will change and things will start anew. And when things is about to change like this, the world go through or earth go through a self-cleansing. And that's exactly what right now the earth is going through, self-cleansing. And that's why we have all these disasters increasing, natural disasters increasing. We have the economy becoming so tough and difficult. People are getting so frustrated because something big is happening. I think as was last year, I told you, Majesty, this year is a phenomenal year. Because something will happen and that is already going on, your majesties. If you feel your body, your system, things are changing. I don't know, I don't know for you, but you should feel this, this change, this new you coming up. You should feel like the old you, you don't want to go back to the old you again. You're okay with this new you and you want to explore more. This is what happens when the world changes, when earth goes through cleansing, okay? So, um, okay, Nigeria have joined BRICS, other African countries have joined BRICS, the US dollar is falling, the economy is shaky, and I want us to listen to some other people's uh, opinion, and we will take it up from there. One of the things we've been talking about in the past 24, 36 hours, uh, the Western uh, press has really shifted in its narrative. Certainly for the most part, the majority of the Western outlets now are actually saying, my goodness me, look, Putin really has friends. He's, he's really not isolated. The sanctions haven't worked. And oh my God, what is he doing? Well, what is he doing? He's corralling more than a half of the rest of the world for some of the biggest changes in 100 years. And if you didn't know already, here's a bit of news for you. 13 nations have now officially joined up as BRICS partner countries, though they're not yet full members. Indonesia is among them. And earlier we spoke with Adri Arlan Senaga, a PhD a candidate at Beijing's University of International Economics. Now, he says that BRICS is essentially key to restoring a sense of global parity as a balance to what he called Western hegemony. We see this as the opportunity to improve our economic and also development in the region. And we also, as one of the largest Muslim population in the world, always see that BRICS are capable to improve our position in the global influence. The West that already becoming the hegemon, they are using their power only to their own purpose. It seems unfair to us. So in order to restore the parity and make the balance of power, I think this is the time for Global South. And the instrument that could help to achieve this balance of power are using BRICS. And yeah, of course, Indonesia, as well as other uh, 12 states, will be um, using this platform to, to improve this Global South co cooperation. Um, the fact is BRICS is a real thing. Yeah. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, they have now added the United Arab Emirates. They have now added Saudi Arabia. They have now added a lot of other nations and more nations are pouring in. Uh, to apply to be a part of BRICS nations. China and Russia have come together. They are now exchanging economically. They are replacing the U.S. dollar. They are, this, is, this is a very real thing that we have never seen happen.
And that's why we don't think it's possible and we don't know how to respond because yeah. we've never experienced this before. Yeah. In our generation, any generation within the last two, three, four hundred years, we don't even know that it's a real thing. We still think it's a video game. It's a movie because we've been so numb to it. We're like, oh, cool. Let me go down the street and use my dollar. Yeah. There will be a point, and it is happening now. In Nigeria, as a matter of fact, they tried to go to the bank to take money out, and they said, we don't have any money. Yep. People who have Bitcoin in certain nations tried to get it out in U.S. dollars. They said, we don't, we can't give you that. Certain nations are not, not even accepting U.S. dollars. Like, it, it is a real thing, brother. This is why people who are trying to just say, well, the U.S. will always have money, always be the number one currency on the planet. There's, at one point, you, you got to stop. Um, you, gotta, you have to be honest about your failing nation. Because it's not even yours to begin with, right? Yeah. So you got to be honest about that, too. It's like, you got to stop with this, this nonsense. African nations simultaneously boycotting the West. While the French were handling the anger of being ousted from multiple African nations, another shock hit Western nations. Now, Nigeria has expressed its intention to join BRICS. This implies that Nigeria not only desires to distance itself from the West, but also aims to assist BRICS in creating a new world order where the West does not maintain a monopoly. However, what factors have influenced Nigeria in making these decisions? Let's find out. Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Yusuf Tugger, expressed Nigeria's intention to join the BRICS group of nations during his visit to Moscow from March 5 to 7, 2024. In an interview with Sputnik, he stated that Nigeria plans to apply for BRICS membership once internal arrangements are completed. But what's the reason? Nigeria's expression of intent to join the BRICS group is rooted in a move to reshape its geo-economic position on the global stage. Despite external pressures, including the West's influence and the country's democratic deliberations, Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Yusuf Tugger, remains committed to pursuing BRICS membership. If successful, Nigeria's inclusion in BRICS could challenge the West's long-standing dominance in the global economic structure. This reflects an effort by Nigeria to diversify its alliances and contribute to a transformative balance of power in the international economic landscape. But how did the idea of diversifying alliances come to Nigeria's mind? Well, Your Majesties, there are many Nigerians who are optimistic. They are happy that finally Nigeria is beginning to get it right. Uh, joining BRICS is just a way out, at least to tell the United States that, see, <laughs> we will go with the winning power, with the winning team. Now, when you look at the economy of every country around the world, it's shaky and everybody's looking for a way to see how things get better for their people. So there are many countries who feel like aligning with Russia, China, um, South Africa and the rest are the best option for them at this point. And um, maybe they should give this these bricks a chance and see what is going to happen. Maybe a change of power uh will, will affect the uh, the world in a positive light and um america do, the american dollar should go and rest for a little bit because what the american dollar knows how to do best is to form the israel form the Tanyaku and his cohort to keep bombing innocent children and orchestrating the downfall of african countries that's what uh, the u.s dollar knows how to do best and it's unfortunate that um these are the hard-earned money of many Americans who work genuinely for their money. At the end, these taxes are cut. These taxes are not used to better the life of Americans. But these taxes are used to fund war and deadly weapons. Come on. I, I, don't, know how, I don't know how these people think most of the times. People who work for their money, you take taxes, claiming you take these taxes to develop the, the, the country, and then you... you more than 50% of these taxes go into funding terrorist groups, go, go into funding um, purchase of deadly weapons, go into funding wars and terrorizing the whole world. Come on, it's definitely going to have an end because um, this, this is, is a kind of good and evil at war. Um, the evil have been have been succeeding all the way. I think it's time for the good to take a turn. Something people need fresh air. People need to breathe fresh air, and I feel bricks is what is going to give them fresh air in their economy 
and maybe change the way their citizens live. I think this is what the Nigerian government saw, felt like, and they decided to just align with Brits and see how it, it goes. And I just hope their, 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 their puppeteers will not come and sanction them. <laughs> Yeah, puppeteers will not sanction them for joining bricks. Anyway, I'm gonna see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others. Stay safe, stay positive, always your majesty's bye for now.